The LinkedIn featured section is one of the most important parts of your LinkedIn profile. Now, if you don't currently have a featured section, um, there's a way to actually add that to your profile. So you can click on add profile section and you'll see in the recommended area that you've got the option to add featured. So if you don't currently know what I'm talking about and you're wondering how to add yourself a featured section, that's where you do so. Now, if I scroll down on my profile, because I have creator mode switched on, my featured section shows up as one of the first um, areas in my LinkedIn profile. It's a very visual part of your profile. As you can see here, I've got all my first three items of my featured section, nice and branded. They stand out on the uh, profile. And you can see here that my first three are all external links. Now, it's OK to put an external link on your featured section. And in a moment, I'll show you the five different types of media links that you can add to your featured section. Now, I use my featured section to build our email list, to increase the amount of dwell time that people um, spend with my brand. And I use it to take people to places where they can get a lot more information, resources, and essentially lots of added value content. Now, depending on who I'm targeting, will determine the key areas of my featured section of my profile. So right now, my profile is aimed at small and micro businesses. That means that I want the content that's showing in the first three slots on my featured profile to actually be appealing to those businesses. However, if I was targeting and prospecting corporate and enterprise sales leaders, these first three would be completely different. So they would be aimed at Sales Navigator. They'd be aimed at uh, more topics around social selling, for example. So that's how you can adjust your featured section depending on the ideal client that you are currently targeting in this moment. Now, as you can see here, there is a plus button and there is an edit button. The plus button allows you to add additional featured section elements. And you can see here, if I click the plus, there are five particular things that you can add. So the first thing is you can add a post. So if you don't have a lot of marketing material, maybe you don't have a lot of lead magnets, maybe you don't have a YouTube channel, this is where you can actually fill your featured section with your previous posts that you have created on the newsfeed. So if I click on this option, it's going to send me to my most recent posts. So for example, this is my newsletter from yesterday that I posted. I did a post about um, how to switch off from work and use an away message. So let's take that one as an example. If I wanted to feature that one on my profile, I'd click on feature and you can see behind me here that that will actually um, update. When I go back, if I go here, you can see that that post is now featured. Now, I obviously wouldn't put that one up there. It hasn't had a lot of uh, reactions yet because it only went up recently. Um, plus it's not really relevant for a featured section. So I'm now going to click on edit. And you'll be able to then, once you edit, you can then remove something from features. So I'm just going to take that one off. And when I go back, that should now be removed from my featured section. So that's how you add and remove um, posts. So that's one way to do it. The next one down is to add a newsletter. So now I actually already have my newsletter already in my feature section. It's a bit further along. If I scroll across to the right hand side, uh, my newsletter is already featured. It, when it appears in a featured section, it does have a big subscribe button on it. If somebody is not currently subscribed, it encourages them to obviously subscribe to your newsletter. So if you do, do have a newsletter, do be sure to add it to your featured section. You may have created articles or written long form articles on LinkedIn. Again, from a credibility perspective, they are great. They're not massive for visibility, but they are good for, for credibility. So if I wanted to add an article, it would take me to all of my articles I've written. Some of them are newsletters because I have both and some of them are actual articles. So if I scroll down to one down here, um, the seven day hack, how to never run out of content ideas. If I were to then feature that on my featured section, you can see there behind it's already updated. And now my article is showing. You can see at the top there it says article, uh, link, link, etc. So that's how you add an article. Again, I'm going to edit that and take that off. Uh, remove from featured. And I'm going to go back to my featured section now to show you the other ones that you can also add in there. Now then you've got the option to add a link. So take this one, for example. Uh, in fact, all of these three are links. But this particular one is a YouTube link. So if I wanted to add a YouTube video or a Vimeo video, you would go across to YouTube or Vimeo, grab the link and type it into here. You could send people to your website page. You could send people to 
um, a product page, for example, if you sell products, you could sell people to your shop, you could send people to a LinkedIn event, you could send people to a Zoom registration page. There's lots and lots of things you can do. And one of the other links that I absolutely love is Smart Links, which is a sales navigator feature. So if you do use Sales Navigator and you want to add Smart Links in there, you can do that too. So that's how you add um, each of those different areas. Now, bear in mind on the mobile version of LinkedIn, only the first one shows up when someone visits your profile. So whatever the main one is that you want to drive people to, make sure that that's first. So for me, that is my free weekly training sessions, which currently is how I am adding value to my network. But also it's a great place for me to actually capture email addresses and build a community of people that I can then market to later on. So I have my Zoom registration link for my free training sitting in the first section there because that's the one that I want most people to go to from the kind of small business community. If you can see here, you can scroll along. I've got um, another article here. I've got another link here. This one is a smart link. And if you want to change the order of these, once you've posted them, you can click on the edit button and it will allow you, if you look at this little up and down arrow button that you've got here, anytime you see the little four bars on LinkedIn, that means that you can actually click and drag an item. So if I wanted to switch this around and have the YouTube video first, I could do that and then that would update on my profile. Um, and if I wanted to do put it back, you just do this. So you can see here, I've got all of my different elements, articles, most of mine are articles and credibility building things. So um, you'll see there the social selling with Sam newsletter. So that's got the subscribe button. I'm already subscribed. If, if I wasn't, that's how it would appear. And you can see here, most of mine are articles, my podcast, etc. So that's how you adjust your featured section. I believe it's one of the most critical areas of your LinkedIn profile because it's very visual. People may or may not read your about section, but they will go to the links in your featured section. So be sure to be in creator mode, be sure that it's nicely branded and that you're sending people to the main thing that you want them to do first in terms of your lead generation, putting people into the top of your funnel. If you have a lead magnet of some kind, you could put it there. If you're running LinkedIn events, you could put it there. But your featured section is a massive part of how you can build your credibility, raise your visibility, and of course, start the process of building sales pipeline.